In this part, we'll examine the components and operation of two specialized types of relief valves that may either function as safety valves or assist safety valves in protecting pressurized systems. The two types are safety relief valves and pilot actuated relief valves. We'll begin with safety relief valves. While safety valves typically discharge gases or vapors, safety relief valves discharge gas, vapor, steam, or liquid to prevent a predetermined safe pressure from being exceeded. Safety relief valves are commonly used in refineries, on systems that contain liquid vapor mixtures, and in some low-pressure steam systems. Some types of safety relief valves are suitable for use as either a safety valve or a relief valve, depending on the application. For instance, certain safety relief valves can be used as safety valves on air systems and as relief valves on liquid systems. This is a cutaway illustration of one type of safety relief valve that's specifically designed for use in gas or steam systems. It has a long nozzle-shaped inlet, a disc and seat, a reaction hood for directing the flow of fluid through the valve, and a single adjusting ring for changing blowdown. The pressure of fluid directed against the disc lifts the disc off the seat. While the valve briefly simmers, the flow of the fluid as it discharges outside the valve's seating area increases the lifting force. Then, the reaction hood deflects the discharging fluid downward. Creating a reactive force by deflecting the flow of the fluid further increases the lifting force and causes the valve to pop open. As system pressure returns to normal, the valve closes. This is a pilot actuated relief valve. It may also be referred to by any of these other names. Pilot actuated relief valves operate much like safety valves. That is, they pop open rather than open gradually. And they have a predetermined amount of blowdown to prevent chattering. However, a pilot actuated relief valve also has a separate pilot device that senses excess pressure conditions and causes the valve to open. This arrangement allows excess pressure to be detected in one part of a system, such as a steam line, while the valve protects another part of the system, such as the boiler. Pilot actuated relief valves are often used on gas and steam systems that also use safety valves. In such cases, the pilot actuated relief valves are set to open at lower system pressures than the safety valves are. This arrangement saves wear and tear on the safety valves and prevents costly shutdowns that would be required for safety valve repairs. You see, by law, safety valves can't be isolated from the systems that they protect because of the damage that could occur if the systems were operated without protection. So, whenever a safety valve is damaged, its system must be shut down while repairs are made. Pilot actuated relief valves, however, can be isolated from a system because they're not a primary part of the system safeguards. So, the pilot actuated relief valves can be used and then repaired if necessary without having to shut down the system. The disc opens downward allowing the steam to escape through the outlet at the upper part of the valve body. Also, in this example, the spring is placed below the disc. The valve also has a disc guide, which is a sleeve that aligns the disc with the seat. A small opening between the disc guide and the disc allows system fluid to pass through from the inlet to the bottom of the main disc. Consequently, System pressure is exerted on both the top and the bottom of the disc during normal system operation. Spring tension is also exerted on the bottom of the disc. If system pressure increases, it increases on both sides of the disc, but the valve won't open because the pressure on the top of the disc counterbalances the pressure on the bottom, and spring tension holds the valve closed. 
The pilot device initiates the valve's opening. The device is set to open at a predetermined pressure. A pressure sensing tube in the pilot device detects increases in system pressure. And when system pressure reaches the predetermined level, the pressure sensing tube activates an electrical relay. The electrical relay closes an electrical circuit and energizes a solenoid. The solenoid then lifts a pilot valve and the excess pressure is relieved. The excess pressure that's relieved by the pilot valve comes from below the disc in the main valve. The amount of pressure that the pilot valve is capable of relieving is greater than the amount that could leak between the disc and the disc guide. When this pressure is relieved, the only pressure that remains on the disc is the pressure that's above it. With no counterbalancing pressure below the disc, the pressure above the disc easily overcomes the spring tension, so the valve opens to release system fluid through the outlet above the disc. When system pressure returns to normal, the pilot valve closes. Pressure then builds up again below the main valve disc and helps the spring hold the disc closed.